everybody, it's me, Ryan from Ryan Studios, and today I'm back with another video, and I'm going to be doing a Q&A, uh, so this is be my first Q&A episode, and um, so I'm just going to answer some of your, the questions that you guys um, gave me in, on Discord and on YouTube, and I'm just going to answer them to the, my best of my ability. Uh, we have 12 questions that are on this uh, thing that I wrote, and yes, I have a Stormtrooper helmet on. The first question is from Tfall15, and he asks, how do I make my channel grow like yours? And now I really think you just need to put yourself out there a lot, and, you know, just make videos even if they, you don't think they're the best of uh, quality, because you're surely going to, um, you know, enhance your quality over the years. And, you know, maybe you'll catch someone's attention with, like, if you make a good mock or something and you're you're eventually going to blow off and i think that's what's happening with mine and i'm pretty proud of that so uh that's good news um now my favorite star wars movie is ask zach bricks and i'm between three i'm very between empire uh rise of skywalker and uh, revenge of the sith i just love all of the action scenes in them and the story is great in them and now i know uh the rise of skywalker gets a, gets a lot of hate but i actually i actually really do like that movie and i just enjoy it throughout and uh, yes there are problems with each and every one of them minus the um minus empire but that's pretty much almost a flawless movie at this point um but yeah b behind all the mistakes and you know there might be there might be bad acting somewhere in there but other than that i just always enjoy the movies um for the most part and um i just absolutely love them so now the next question is why did I start YouTube, um, asks Witherslayer27, and, um, I started YouTube mostly because I was inspired by my friend, the Music Man Reviewer, he started his, like, a little bit, few, maybe a few months before mine, and I was inspired, um, from him, and also I'd been watching it for a while, and, you know, seeing a LEGO community, like, rise up among a few others, and I just got really inspired by that, and I was like, you know, let's go for it, I do LEGO already, that's one, and then I would just make big videos on them, and, uh, we'll see where that goes, and I think it's worked out for me, uh, brilliantly, so, that's good off the bat, um, where did I get my name, my first name is Ryan, and Studios, I just thought of something, um, it was gonna be my last name, but I thought that would be per a little bit too personal, so I just decided to do Ryan, and, you know, that's, is my first name, and I thought it had a better ring to it, so that's, um, also from Zach Bricks. So Wither Slayer and Zach Bricks both asked, asked a few questions just to start the series, so shout out to those two in particular, but there's also a few other people that asked some very nice questions. Um, I can't really read these, but, uh, where did I learn to greeble so well? And that was asked by Zach Bricks, and, um, I learned to greeble just by practicing. Um, I also, I, um, I just absolutely love the speed builds. I don't know what's about them that I love, but I just love them. And I used to watch the Star Destroyer ones and um, the Death Star ones, and there's a lot of greebling on, on those. And I just, you know, just put a bunch of pieces together, and I think it looks really good. Um, I did I mean, I did make a video on Friday about greebling, somewhat about greebling, not 100% on greebling itself, but um, I've definitely learned how to greeble with you through that video and I think it'll help you a lot as well. Um, this next one is from Witherslayer27 and it, it's a bit more personal once do I have a girlfriend? No I don't, not yet. Um, that's because really I haven't been you know socializing that much other than the people that I'm in contact with and um, obviously I think once school back starts back up I'll you know maybe find the courage to do so but as of now now in a year would I say yes probably uh, so um, how long have I been building Lego for? Asks by Zach Bricks again. And, um, I've been building Legos mostly that I can remember. I remember, um, my first experience with Legos, two giant bins full of the space, 1980 space sets that my dad gave me, and I've just been hooked on those ever since. Um, and I just love the hobby, and so that was maybe three or four, and, um, absolutely love that I built Star Wars stuff out of those, of course, um, and, man, good times, so... That's another question. This this is a very tight helmet, and um, I have like sunglasses under these so that uh, you know you, you really can't see my eyes. But it's it's a lot. I might take these off. Um, as a little kid, where did you use Duplos? Asked by Zach Bricks again, and I did not. Um, I never really got into those. I always I started off with the 1980 space sets, and I don't know if they had Duplo back then at all. So. 
All right, we're just going to do a little intermission right now. I just want to give a big shout out to Zach Bricks and Witherslayer27 for helping me start off this series, and we'll just hope this goes somewhere. Um, also, I just want to mention that um, I am work I am editing this currently, and I'm having a few issues with the way the pictures are set up and everything, and um, with like the comments, and I'm trying to get that to work. We're going to see what goes on in the next episode. I'm going to test everything out. I think iMovie is the problem right now, so we're going to figure something out and um yeah that's kind of sucks but we'll we'll see what we could do um and uh yes also that helmet is very tight and i could hardly see or even breathe so uh, let's just put that into consideration when i'm trying to read so um yeah let's get back to um past rhyme no nope, i didn't have i've never used duplo and would i consider it if i build something at a massive scale and i know duplo and lego bricks are compatible with the other with, with each other but i would consider it if, um, you know, obviously they're cheap, but probably not, most likely not. Um, next question is, do you like Pirates of the Caribbean slash do you have any sets based off of the movies asked by Ethan's Toy Lab? Um, no, I don't. I do. Oh my gosh. Do I, I can't believe how good those movies are. I, I know I grew, I grew up watching those as a kid. I like the first two the most. I enjoyed the third one it was okay i didn't really love it that much but then the fourth movie it wasn't that good um and i, I didn't see it for a while until i realized there was a fourth one i always thought there was three because that's we had the first three and then the fifth one obviously came out back in 2017 or 2018 i i liked the fifth one um i had a few issues with it but i think it was pretty good the first two were fra flawless movies i actually was re-watching the second one after uh the other day after i saw the comment um and i i would consider no, I don't think I would buy sets, really, um, because they're just so expensive, but I would totally consider buying a few of the minifigures, and I, you know how I always build the three base plate Star Wars mocks as, like, a series? I was also considering doing something else, and since I was been watching Pirates of the Caribbean, I've definitely been considering doing something for Pirates of the Caribbean, especially the second one, so, um, yeah, maybe you could see some Star Wars, or not, not Star Wars, Pirates of the Caribbean content out there. Um, probably one of my favorite movie series of all time. Uh, but the next one is, what do you do when you're not doing Lego, YouTube, or schoolwork? Asked, asked by Zach Bricks again. Um, I do play, I play video games. That's pretty much it. I, that's like, those are like the only things I do. Um, also if it was in the summertime, I would be in my pool, you know, uh, you know, just swim in my pool. Um, I... There's really nothing much I do. I guess I watch Netflix. Well, you, well, usually I'm doing Lego when I'm doing that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I do. I also talk to my friends a lot too, so that's pretty cool. Or I, you know, I help someone outside with uh, yard work. But um, the next question is from RS Shift Fifty Two Productions. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry. Um, but what is my favorite Star Wars movie? That was asked twice. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I wrote these in two separate segments. Um, my favorite Star Wars movie, as I said before, was Revenge of the Sith, The Rise of Skywalker, and Empire Strikes Back, of course. So, those, that's your answer. You probably already got it from before. And the final question is, what is my favorite Star Wars Lego set and why from LNN Productions? I have so many of my favorite Lego Star Wars sets, I really can't choose. And now, I don't mean, I don't know if you're can, talking about the ones I don't have or the ones I have, but I'm just going to do with the, I'm just going to go with the ones I have, so... Out of the ones I have, I absolutely love the 2009 Clone Battle Pack. I forget the set number, but it's absolutely amazing set. I also like the 2019 Kylo Ren Shuttle I got. I have that set. That's It's a beautiful set. I absolutely love that. Um, I also like the 20th Anniversary Slave 1. That's another amazing set. Great. Nine, like 9.9 .9 out of 10. Um, the Porg is cute. I have that one. I yeah, it's, I guess it's pretty cool, and I also have the 2015 Millennium Falcon, but it's heavily modified, and that's why I like it so much, because I made my own additions to it, I need to make another video on that, actually, um, but, uh, yeah, those are the questions for this week, I hope, um, I had 12 questions, and that was very nice of all of you guys, and, um, I don't, I'm planning on this being, like, every two weeks I do an episode, depending on if I get enough questions, if I get, like, 10 or so questions, yeah, I'll do another, uh, episode of this and um if we could do this weekly that would be great um 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 if you don't get your comment picked if uh, that's probably because uh, it was already answered or something like that or i just straight up don't want to answer that if it's a bit too personal or something um but 
yeah, if you guys can ask questions, that would be great. It would keep the series going a lot more. And I think there's a lot of potential with this. And, uh, yeah, have a great day. And I will see you next video. Goodbye.